Jim, after last week, how important was it to get the win tonight? It was all about the win tonight. Um, yeah, we were disappointed. We were disappointed with our start, to be honest. Um, so it was all about getting, hopefully starting the game well. I think we did. I think we showed good ambition. Um, scored a good try. Potentially could have then got another one. Um, but, you know, disappointing that didn't... Uh, uh, get allowed, uh, and then it was tight. It became a little bit of an arm wrestle, um, but we got through it, and um, you know, very, very happy. How frustrating is it from the sidelines when you see such a great try be scored, not just to be pulled back, but to be pulled back because somebody was reacting to being held on the floor? It is very frustrating, and um, you know, he didn't do much. I think you know, it potentially looked bad in terms of lifting his foot up, but then I think he brought it down by the side of his body, so there was, he, he didn't sort of harm anybody or anything, but. Um, that, that's a game and, um, and it happened. But uh, two yellow cards in the game and yet of the two ten minute periods you came out on top in terms of the points. I mean that is crucial in, it, in such a tight game. Yeah, we, we, we manage those situations very well and um, again our set piece went pretty well. Um, our, our maul was good, we scrummaged well as, as we did last week really. Um, and we had opportunities, you know, we did have opportunities when we are back down to 15 men and uh, I think we just need to be a little bit more accurate, we, 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 we want to be an ambitious team, we want to play, we don't want to just kick the ball away, at the right time you've got to kick, and particularly in, in these conditions it's not easy, it's a swirling wind, um, but we want to be ambitious and we want to move the ball. Brought JJ Hanrahan on for his first start and uh, it was cru crucial in, in the first try and then Stephen Myler's tactical kicking in the last 20 was equally crucial. Yeah, um, we've got two good players there, we've said it all along. Um, pleased that uh, JJ, uh, for his first start, not easy at fly half in a new team, so really pleased with him. Um, control the game well, and then it was, I think, really good to then bring um, Stephen on as well. Two um, kickers, two players who can play both sides, um, and, and uh, it's a very nice option for us to have. And another tough game against Glasgow next week. Yeah, it's a tough game, and every single week we're going to be saying this, it's a tough game next week, and it's a tough game next yeah. week, and we're going to say that all way. It's one of those seasons this year, isn't it? It is. Um, so it, it, it is going to be tough, um, but we got off to a good start. We're one from one. Um, we're going to look forward to it. We need to train hard. We need to make sure we keep ambitious. We need to keep that intent to play. Um, I know Glasgow will do that, and, and hopefully if it's a nice fine day, we'll have a cracking game. The last time Saints played at Glasgow, um, went for the tries early, only to, to come unstuck a little bit, especially in, with the last player of the game to lose the game. What do you learn from an experience like that when you're going up, and also from seeing a game out today like you did in terms of the, the, the closeness of the margin? Well, I think the first thing is you've got to try to take your chances and take your opportunities and uh, we left a few out there today, uh, the George North one was the obvious one but even from a little bit deeper in our field we had two or three opportunities where we did have overlaps and all we actually needed to do was be accurate, pass the ball, get the ball out to, to width and we potentially could have scored some more tries so we've got to take our opportunities wherever we can, whether that's kicking goals, whether that's driving malls, um, doing whatever we can. What was good today was to see us keep, um, keep, keep, keep our composure. Um, I thought the subs came on, did a good job today, and um, it was good. You know, good decision. Um, a few points up, kick to the corner, and just kill the clock. The game was preceded by the minute silence uh, for uh, to uh, to mark those tragic events in Paris on Friday night. Um, you know, the whole of European rugby is standing behind the French this weekend, especially given how important they are to this tournament. And what does that say about rugby spirit? No, rugby spirit's always been fantastic and that's the reason why uh, I played and got involved from an early age and uh, it's fantastic to see that that's still there. Good that everybody's supporting the French and supporting each other and, uh, uh, and you know, I, I can't say anymore.